Hi, good afternoon. Um, I'm going to talk about a poster that I have outside that's based on some work that I've done with my co-authors, um, most of whom you've probably heard speak so far. Um, so Angela Fuller, Andy Royal, Chris Sutherland, uh, Bistra Dokina, Carla Gomes, and Amrita Gupta, who are all here, I think. So. Um, so why do we care about connectivity? And from an animal's perspective, what is connectivity? Um, well, connectivity allows for localized movement, access to resources that are required for survival, either daily or seasonally. Um, and it allows for gene flow and um, dispersal. And all these processes are vital for population persistence. Um, if we think about this at the individual scale as an animal, um, what we realize is that what we're talking about for these three separate components is actually the definition of an animal home range. So as Andy discussed earlier today, we can think about an animal home range, or we have spatial capture capture models that allow us to estimate population parameters based on where we detect individuals in space. And so this is the Gaussian bivariate kernel, that, uh, detection kernel that Andy discussed. Um, and what we're, what we're focusing on here is that where we detect individuals is a function of where that latent activity center is located and where the, the traps or detector arrays are located. Sorry. Um, so yeah, so this is the Euclidean distance model. And so what we're focused on here is that orange equation, um, or the orange highlighted part of the equation, the distance between SI, the activity center, and uh, trap J. Um, and as Andy mentioned as well, we can estimate a resistance parameter. So we don't have to consider it as Euclidean circular home range. Um, we can think about, or we can estimate the cost of moving from pixel to pixel based on where we detect these individuals as a function of some covariate. So here I've provided covariates such as elevation. If you imagine that black dot, high, red, red is high values, of or high values of resistance, white is low values of resistance, and that black dot, if that's an animal's home range uh, activity center, um, if we use least cost path instead of Euclidean distance, you can see how that home range is shaped based off of uh, the resistance values in the pixels surrounding that activity center. Um, we can also look at an alternative form of distance, commute distance, um, which allows for a more stoca uh, stochastic process in how animals are finding what pixels to move through. And this has um, applications uh, to landscape connectivity. So on, the, on your left, you have least cost path, potential connectivity estimated based off of those home ranges, and then commute, commute distance on, the, um, on your right. And you can see that you, you might make different management decisions based on, uh, depending on which animal model, movement, movement model you use. So please come see my poster if you'd like to talk about more. <laughs>